Heyo, it's Abby, and today I have the newest Shinwu set from Finding Unicorn. It is the Strange Ghost Diner. Before I take the box apart, let's look at this beautiful theming. We have burgers, pizza, soda, ice cream, donuts, mustard. I think we might have a spoiler here, but look at this design. It's so cool. 24 hour kill. Caution, blood floor. And then a little janitor, maybe? I'm gonna have to destroy the box to set up the display, but I wanted to appreciate it with all of you first. Shinwu has had many, many good sets, but this one being diner themed, I think it may be one of the best yet. You all do not understand how excited I am to check this set out. Let's dive in. Are you ready to see 12 of the cutest ghost bear figures? You get one quick look now, but we're gonna open it up. Wait. Oh, the bag's so cute. I hope they make pins or magnets for this set like they did with the others because these are going to be so cute. Extra sauce, freshly baked, pizza, a lot of the stuff that was on the main box. Oh, it's a burger. So we have a little bear, there's the bottom bun, cheese, lettuce, sauce maybe? The little tomato bear, and more cheese, and top bun. Oh, that's wobbly. Very glossy, you can see my lights. This is adorable. In silicone tape we trust, just a few dots will keep this guy together. Look at that, there's a recycling mark on it. I love this. I think it goes like this because the cheese is supposed to look like fangs maybe? Here's the card. I'm not a huge fan of them taping it to the bag because the card gets bent. This one, as you can see, is a little curved, but this is DIY burger. We indeed did DIY it. Would you guys call this a main bear or is this not a main bear? I have to see the others before I decide. Number two. Don't shake it too hard. Let's take another look at the packaging. So it's designed to look like a menu. So we have burger, pasta, pizza, sauce, soda, donut, snake bite. And then we have crew, the workers at the diner. And a little blender. So I guess these are main bears. And then there's two secrets. I was so excited when Finding Unicorn reached out to me and told me that they had a new set coming out. I said, yes, of course I will unbox it. Was there ever any doubt? Let's remove this card. It's a dessert bear. It is toxic soda. We have a bear in kind of a drippy, probably ice cream hood. It says a bear of the month. The green on the bottom looks very toxic. Dizzy eyes, that's cute. A little drippy hair and a visor. Kind of like a diner or fast food worker. Some whipped cream on their ear. I guess they're drinking the soda. I love that. That's too good. Ta -da! Toxic soda. The art is always so good. Do you guys follow the artist on Instagram? I feel like they mainly post their figures, but they post art too sometimes. Let's keep opening. Number three. This one feels maybe a little bit heavier. Whoa, that's why it feels heavier. Ooh, it's very purple. Oh my goodness. They're so glossy, they're catching all the reflections. So we have a mustard tank with the two guns. It says, one shot, one kill. Is this an homage to what I think it is? If it is, I don't, I've never seen it, so I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if you're thinking what I'm thinking or if you think I'm totally off. If you think you know what I'm thinking. This is Mustard Sniper. I love the colors. Such a fun design. This one might be my favorite one so far. I don't think I'll ever get sick of Shinwu Bears. There's the card. I really want a postcard with this design. 
Ooh. Do the bears have names? Because we've seen a bear this color in previous sets. Are there characters or are they all just ghost bears with pretty colors? This bear has what we like to call Abby colors on the main bear part. The hood's bright blue. It's very pretty. A little burger on his head and then wearing some headphones. It says baby ghost and the little band-aid on their nose. I love it. So this must be a burger flipping bear. Literally called burger flipper. I love the little burger on his head. Do you think he flipped it too hard? I mean, that's the bun part. So maybe he's just keeping it there while he grills the burgers. Oh, I think my suspicions are kind of confirmed. I forgot the title is Strange Ghost Bear. Hmm, let's open the next one. I'm really excited to see this pizza one that's on the front of the box. Oh boy, there's the card. Oh, I manifested it. Maybe I can manifest the secret one. I absolutely love this one. The color of the bear is really pretty too. The yellow and blue combo with the pink pizza box. And the pizza cutter. Cut it for you, pizza. More like wear it for you. It's so good. We are now at the halfway point. Let's see if I can manifest the next one. I want to see heart attack sauce. This one's kind of light. I feel like weight doesn't really matter though because of the weights in it. Let's see who it is. Oh. Did not manifest, but it is a matte one. This is interesting. So this is the one that's on the outside box. It says cleaning in what looks like probably ketchup, right? It's definitely ketchup. There are ketchup stains on the bear's glasses, right? They're holding some poisonous looking cleaner. I like this design. This is cool. I love the contrast of the matte and the glossy bear. And we always love glasses. Glasses and bows. I forgot to show you guys this card. Here is the card for Pizza Cutter. I think this one, the art might look just a little bit better, but I really like the figure too. And here we have Shady Cleaner. Maybe that's not ketchup. Hmm. Are you all ready for figure number seven, I believe? Oh, this box does not want to open. This is how the card gets bent. You have to be gentle with it. There you go. It feels like a main bear. Not the blender anyway. Oh, it's the sauce. Oh my goodness, I love this one. It looks like a sriracha sauce bottle with the green lid. It has a gradient to it though. Can you guys tell? It's kind of hard with all the glare. I'm sorry about that. But it's a pink, red, and then back to pink. It's really cool. And then look on the back here. Nutritional facts, total calories 666. Anger's 13%, fear is 36%, and hurt is 51%. Oh, that's sad. Little heart attack sauce is hurt. Give him some love. Here we have number eight. Who do we have left? Donut, snake bite, pasta, blender, and more coffee? I would love to get one of the seeker ones. At this point, I don't even know what the secret ones look like because the set hasn't been posted yet. Feels like another main bear if the only one left is the blender. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, this might be a favorite. This is a really good color palette. So we have a waitress ghost bear with a cute little apron holding some very green, poisonous looking coffee. I don't know how I feel about that. It says free refills here if you can make it through your first cup. And then it says menu, hot, poison, 100% coffee. I mean, coffee is pretty addicting. I absolutely love this one, the visor, it's so cute. I'm too excited about the figures. I keep forgetting to show the card. Here is heart attack sauce. Again, the art is so perfect. And more coffee, 100% poison. Four more to go. I don't want this to end. I wanna see donut. 
poisonous donut. Oh, I am just manifesting all the things today. Um, this is my new favorite one. Look at it. I'm gonna get as close as I can to the camera. There's some mushrooms, a sparkly, glittery hood. I hope the light's picking that up. That's really cool. The colors kind of give me a neon retro vibe. I really like it. And look at, there's a face on the donut frosting. We love that. Poisonous donut. The perfect Shinwu bear. It has the sparkle, the colors. Beautiful. Is this not a bear with those teeth? Almost looks like a mouse. I want to manifest a secret one, but it's hard to manifest something when you can't imagine it. They're both bears, that's for sure. Oh! All the dessert ones are so good. These colors are so perfect. I mean, you guys know me. I like the pastels. Oh my goodness. Enhancing. Look at the soft serve is a snake. That's amazing. Abby colors, Abby colors. Snake bite. Do snakes have anything to do with ice cream? I don't quite understand the correlation. Am I missing something? Two more to go. One of them has to be the secret one. I think I saw the card. I personally like being surprised when I open the bag. There it is. There are so many perfect ones in this set. This is Pasta Devil holding a ball of yarn with pasta sauce on it. I think it's supposed to be a cat because it's wearing a collar. Oh yeah, there's a cat silhouette on it. And the little horns. Oh, the colors are so perfect too. There's a piece of pasta that turns into a skull. Oh, I love the sweets, but this one's definitely gonna be in my top three. Last one, blender or secret? The age old question will finally have an answer. I can't believe the blender was the last one. Wishy. That means anything. There it is, a little baby bear. I know it's not the secret one, but this is adorable. Look at how squished he is in there. Oh my goodness, I love this. I am a main bear lover, as I like to call them, but this one is perfection. I also really like the color combo. Forgot the card again. Here's Pasta Devil. I love this one. And do not blend. I love this one too. This is such a good set. The DIY burger had me a little nervous because I was like, oh no, lots of little pieces. Because I think the good thing about Shinwu figures is that you don't have to worry about losing anything. It is time to rank them. Starting with my favorite, number one. Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten, eleven, and twelve. I like this design, but I don't like that it comes apart, so that's why it's twelve. Like I said though, this might be my new favorite Shinwu set. Birthday Alone is another one of my favorites and the space one. I'm so bad with names, the bunny one. Why can't I remember the name? I love that one because it's like rainbow colors, but you can't compete with a good food theme. I'm sorry. This is so good. Anyway, let me know your rankings down below. Just give me your top three and we can compare. If you want to type out all 12, I would love to see that. And I know you guys are going to want these figures, so make sure to check out Finding Unicorn and let me know which figure you get. And as always, a big thank you to Finding Unicorn for letting me unbox these beautiful, super cute figures. And a big thank you to you guys for supporting me and allowing me to do this as my job. I will see you all in the next video. Bye!